Now with the area's certified most accurate forecast six years in a row, meteorologist Chad Raithlisberger. Well, yesterday we made it up into the low to mid 40s, at least here in Green Bay. Today we got the sunshine back. Temperatures, however, will be a little bit cooler. 26 right now in Oshkosh under sunny skies and a Storm Team 5 Skyview camera powered by Pella windows and doors. In Sturgeon Bay, 24 degrees with plenty of sunshine. And right now in Green Bay, looking at sunny skies as well. 30, but it feels like 16 with this west wind, or 19 rather, with this west wind at 16 miles an hour. And these winds were breezy yesterday. They will stay breezy for the next few hours into the mid-afternoon and then start to ease up a little bit as we get into the evening and overnight. But notice mostly clear skies expected for the rest of today as highs get back into the lower 30s for many of us here later on this afternoon. Right now we are at 26 in Clintonville, 29 in Mountain. 24, like I mentioned, in Sturgeon Bay, and 28 up in Menominee, uh, mainly mid to upper 20s once you get south of Green Bay. Winds are breezy once again early this afternoon, generally out of the west at around 5 to 15 miles an hour. There is some colder air, again, just off to our north and west, 15 in International Falls, 4 in Bismarck, but our air will very soon be coming from the south and west. Look at this, 40s. Not too far away, and this warmer air will start to move in as we head over the next several days as a rather large storm system starts to, to develop across the southwest and make its way towards Wisconsin by Wednesday and Thursday. So the satellite radar showing lots of clear skies across the state. We do have a few more lake effect clouds and some snow showers closer to Marquette. Other than that, uh, things are very quiet off to the west. Here's our next storm system off to the south and west. Doesn't look all that impressive right now, but it will really start to strengthen by tomorrow and then move north and eastward towards Wisconsin Wednesday and Thursday before it finally exits on Friday. And that will give us a pretty good chance for some widespread rain showers during that time as well. In the short term, your afternoon looking fantastic. Again, highs in the low to mid 30s under mostly sunny skies. So a little snow will be melting here later on today. Still fairly quiet into the overnight and early tomorrow morning, and then by 6 o'clock tomorrow evening, notice the clouds starting to build in already some rain showers developing off to our west as well, and rain will become a little more widespread Tuesday night and into the day on Wednesday as the storm system continues to strengthen. Wednesday looking fairly rainy, even into the day on Thursday, we could see some more widespread rain showers as the storm system approaches. Then on the back side of this storm, could see some cooler air eventually change over any rain over to a few light snow showers on Friday. However, what snow we do see is looking fairly light, so don't expect any uh, a whole lot at least of accumulation from that. And then things at least for your weekend right now looking fairly quiet. How about the rainfall potential? Because some of the models hinting that we could see anywhere from a half inch to an inch of rain. Combine that with the much warmer temperatures in the 40s and 50s and just all the snow we have on the ground right now. And there could be some localized flooding issues, especially along the uh, roadways and in some of the streams. There's a lot of water, I and mean, it has to make its way through those uh, river systems. So something we'll have to keep a close eye on here later on this week. As for today, not looking all that bad. We'll see plenty of sunshine, a little breezy at times, with high temperatures in the low to mid 30s. And then for tonight, mostly clear and quiet. Uh, temperatures in the single digits to the north. The rest of us mainly in the lower teens. Here's your seven-day planner. 42 for your high increasing clouds on Tuesday. Mid-40s rain likely on Wednesday. Mid-50s, another round of rain, maybe some fog on Thursday. And then could see a, a couple light snow showers Friday. But temperatures still hold uh, fairly mild even into the upcoming weekend. For more on your forecast, you can find it on our Facebook page. Give us a like, WFRV Local 5. So all that snow, warm temperatures, and now potentially quite a bit of rain. And, yeah, we could have some flooding issues Wednesday into Thursday. Yeah, we're going to have to worry about that. But seeing those mid-50s. Oh, it's going to feel great. It's going it? to feel short weather time. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yep. Thanks, Chad. Well, it's time.